Hello children, in today's video we are going to discuss about estimation or rounding off in the chapter knowing our numbers. Okay, let us first understand the meaning of the word estimation. Estimation means approximation. Okay, it means approximation. That means not accurate. It's just approximation. I can make it more clear by an example. If I say in a marriage party there were approximately 1000 people present, what do I actually mean? Do I mean there were accurately 1000 people present? No, 1000 people were not present. I just meant less than 1000 people. That means almost 1000 people were present. I can say one more example. In a cricket stadium, there were approximately 50,000 people present. Means, there were not accurately 50,000 people. There were less than 50,000 people. Okay, I now hope the word estimation is clear to you. It's just approximated value. You might have seen elders at your home doing calculations so fast. They say answers very fast. I wondered in my childhood, the elders at my home, even my father, doing calculations so fast. And they use this estimation method to find the calculation. Let's see how they do it. If they are given a question like 4998 plus 399, do you think they will sit and calculate like 8 plus 917, one carryover? No, they won't do that. They will say the approximated answer within seconds. They will say the answer is 5400. The approximated answer. They will say within seconds. By the end of this video, you will also be able to do the calculation very fastly. In this topic, we will study three categories of estimation. The first is estimation to nearest tens. Estimation to nearest hundreds. And the last one. Estimation to nearest thousands. First, let us study estimation to nearest tens. Children, you have to remember, nearest tens means multiples of 10. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. 100, 110, 120, etc. Keeping that in mind, we will go forward. You can see a number line in which I have written numbers from 20 to 30. Let me ask you one thing. Tell me the number 21 is near to 20 or 30. It's very clear from the number line that 21 is near to 20. That means I can estimate 21 to 20 for easier calculation. I mean if you see 21 in any question, you can estimate to 20. In the case of nearest tens, that also you have to remember. Okay. Let me ask you one more thing. 22. What about 22? 22 is also near to 20, not to 30. Okay. 22 is near to 20. Okay. The same way. What about 23? Yes. 23 is also near to 20. The same way. 24 is also near to 20. Let me ask you, what about 26? 26 is near to 20 or 30? It's near to 30, right? So I can estimate 26 to 30 for easier calculation. Same way, 27 is near to 30, not with 20. So 27 is also estimated to 30. What about 28? 28 is also estimated to 30. 29 is also estimated to 30. But you see a number 25 in the middle. Yeah, it has equal distance between 20 and 25 and 25 and 30. Okay, remember children, by default, we will estimate 25 to 30. Okay, please remember that children, we will estimate 25 as 30. Let's check some examples. The first example is estimate 156 to nearest tens. Okay, you can see a number line in which I have written 150 to 160. You can easily say now, right? Tell me what is uh, the estimation of 156? 156 is near to 160. 
steel. So the answer is 156 can be estimated to 160. I hope it's clear. Let's check some more examples but without the number line. Here you can see three questions written on the board. Okay. The previous question was estimate 156 to nearest tenth, right? I have used a number line there to make you understand the basic concept very well. From this question onwards, we won't use number line, okay? I will say an easy trick to estimate to nearest tenth, okay? So, first question is 276, okay? You have to just see the last two digits. What is the last two digits? It is 76, right? 76. Tell me, 76 can be estimated to 80 or 70. You know that 76 lies between 70 and 80. But you know that 76 can be estimated to 80. Okay? You have to write the answer like this. What I say children? To estimate to nearest tens, we have to look only the last two digits. The other digit remains the same. That means I can write this 2 itself. Okay? And instead of 70, we have to write 80. Okay? So the answer is 276 gets estimated to 280 because 76 can be estimated to 80. So the answer is 280. Let's check the next example. What's the last two digits here? In 945, the last two digits is 45, right? And uh, tell me, 45 can be estimated to which number? 45 lies between 40 and 50. But you know that 45 is estimated to 50, right? So the answer will be, I have to write this 9 as such and this 45 changes to 50. So the answer is 945 is estimated to 950. At last you can see an example, 1783. The question is to estimate the nearest tens. You have to look only the last two digits. Here it's 83, right? And no change for the first two digits. One. Seven. Okay, tell me, 83 lies between 80 and 90. You know that 83 is near to 80, not to 90. So, 83 changes to 80. So, what is the answer children? 1783 estimates to 1780. So, that is estimation to nearest tens. I hope it's clear. Now, we will move on to next category that is estimation to nearest hundreds. In the estimation to nearest hundreds, we have to see multiples of hundreds. That is 100, 200, 300, etc. 1000, 1100, 1200, it goes on like that. Okay? So, we can check the first question that is 349. We have to estimate to nearest hundreds. Tell me children, 349 lies between 300 and 400 and you can tell me, 349 lies near to 300 or 400, you know that 349 lies near to 300, okay children, yes, so in the nearest hundred, you have to check the last three digits. Okay. In the second example, it will go clear to you. 788. You have to first check that. 788 lies between which all numbers? 788 lies between 700 and 800. And it is near to which number? 700 or 800? Yes, it lies near to 800. So, we can take 800. Okay. And last example, 5625. It is a four digit number. I have told you, in the estimation to nearest hundreds, you have to check the last three digits. Okay? That is 625. And you can write this 5 here without any change. You have to just check 625. Tell me, 625 lies between 600 and 700. 625 lies near to 600, right? So, I can write 600 here. So, the answer becomes 5625 gets estimated to 5600. 
that is estimation to nearest hundreds. The last type is estimation to nearest thousands. You know children, nearest thousands means multiples of thousands that is 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, etc. 10,000, it goes on like that. Okay, keeping that in mind, we can just check the first question. The first question is estimate 1230 to nearest thousands. For that, you have to check 1230 lies between which of thousands? It lies between 1000 and 2000, right? You can see a number that in which I have just written 1000 and 2000. And 1230 lies near 2000 or 2000. You know that children. 1230 lies near to 1000. So, we can estimate 1230 to 1000. So the answer is 1000. It will be more clear if we check the second question. See children, the next question is 3895. This number lies between which of thousands? 3000 and 4000, right? 3895 lies between 3000 and 4000. Can you tell me it lies near to 3000 or 4000? Yes, it lies near to 4000. So the answer is 4000. The last question I have written here is 17,650. 17,650 lies between which are numbers? You can see here. 17,650 lies between 17,000 and 18,000. And you know in between it lies 17,500. Right? And now tell me. 17,650 lies in this range or this range? It's very clear to you. Right? 17,650 lies between this range. So... 17,650 gets estimated to 18,000. So children, the answer is 18,000. So that is estimation to nearest thousands. So in today's video, we have studied three types of estimation. That is estimation to nearest tens, where we have looked only the last two digits. And there we looked multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, etc. The second category was estimation to nearest hundreds. There we looked 100, 200, 300, etc. And the last three digits were considered. And the last type, estimation to nearest thousands, we have checked multiples of 1000, that is 1000, 2000, 3000, etc. So I hope all these are clear to you. So, that's all for today. Thank you children.